Hey, my name is not Sven. It is Martin. Yeah. Hey, so yesterday I saw three films, which is weird because it was nothing that we planned. We, we were planning to go to the cinema, but then we ended up seeing two more films. So I'm going to talk about these three films and I'm going to start from the back, starting with Heartbreaker, La Nacour, which is a French film uh, starring Romain Demy and Vanessa Paradis, uh, Paradise. Uh, and this is a, it's a weird feeling because it didn't feel like you were watching a French movie. I mean, it's obviously there's subtitles because my French is not that good, but still very entertaining film. It's kind of like a like a romantic comedy slash Mission Impossible. Very interesting film from 2010, which you should definitely go check out. Very a funny film and well written, and a little bit of unexpected things here and there. And they're playing off they're playing off Dirty Dancing a lot. So um, uh, not in the actual script of the film, but in the actual. Uh, happenings inside the film. Get it? The second film we saw was a French film as well called Ensemble Tattoo, uh, Hunting and Gathering, which stars uh, Audrey Tattoo and uh, what was his name? Guillaume Canet or something. Uh, and I like these types of film. I had a period of a couple of a couple of years back where I watched a lot of uh, French films and this is one of those where you don't have the static typical this is how a movie is built up in Hollywood. You have the start, everything's good. You have the downfall, then you have ah happy ending. But this is one of those films. It's just nice to kind of sit along to. It's like it's like you know spending time with a friend. It's one of those. It's it's a feel good movie, but it doesn't have that cliche feeling all you know stuck into you and where you know exactly the turns that are going to happen. So I would recommend that as well from 2007, uh, Ensemble to uh, Hunting and Gathering. The final film that we saw in the cinema was uh, Breaking Dawn Part 1. I know, I know, because uh, New Moon was on like uh, like a week ago and I re-watched it for the first time since I saw it in the cinema and it was a lot better actually the second time. And this film, what strikes me the most, except for the fact that Team Jacob, uh, is the fact that this movie was rated PG-11 in Sweden, which meant that you could go and see it if you were 11 years old. For those of you who have seen this film, you gotta be thinking like, whoa. I mean, obviously it's a popular fran franchise. If it hadn't been for the books, this, was, this would easily have been a PG-15. But PG-11, which means that 11 year olds can go watch all the the sex, the rough sex, no doggy style because it's not Jacob, it's the other one, Edward. And all the, you know, uh, all the, uh, uh, not feeling good, and then all the blood and all the biting and all the pushing and all the, listen, I know that you wanted to sleep with her first, but now I need your help. Rough. And it's just, I mean, I'm looking forward in a way to the final uh, film. Just, I just want to know how it ends. I guess you could tell me, but don't do that. I just want to know how it ends and what happens and whether the woof woof gets to, um, um, what was the, the term they were using? Impregnate? In, imprint. Imprint. <laughs> uh, some more. Because, I mean, we, if we get to see all the vampire stuff, we should get to see all the doggy stuff as well. So, have you seen any of these films? Uh, they were called uh, Ensemble C2. Uh, La Nacre and uh, Breaking Dawn Part 1.